In this video, I will show you how to make your video fade to black in DaVinci Resolve, like this. Oh, uh, let's start. Okay, so there are a lot of different ways to do this, so I will just share a couple with you, and then you can choose which one you like the best. So, the first one, then we will have to go to the effects library, so just click on this one, and expand the toolbox, go to video transitions and under the dissolve here you want this dip to color dissolve. So just click on it and hold and drag it into the timeline and drop it at the end of your video clip. And if we now play through it you can see that we are fading to white. So we will have to change it from white to black. And to do this, you just click on the dissolve and you will get this red border around it, which indicates it's selected. Then go to the inspector here, click on it to open it. Then at the bottom of this menu, you can see the color. So click on the color, then change it from white and choose the black here and click on OK. And if we now play through it, you can see we're fading to black. What we want to do now is to change the duration since it was fading pretty fast into black. So to do this just go with your cursor on the dissolve here till you get to the edge and your cursor will change into this uh, symbol here. So just click hold and pull it to the side and then drop it at the desired duration. So if we now play through it you're fading much smoother into black this time. And then is the second method to fade into black. This time we don't have to use any effects, so we're just gonna remove this one and close the effects library. By the way, you're watching Video with Jens and I upload weekly tutorials like this. I remember how confusing it can be to learn video editing off of YouTube since there are so many videos of different quality and so much information so my goal is to make a channel where you can learn what you need to know and hopefully this can ease up the struggling a bit for you and then you can become a better video editor faster so if you take the time to click on the subscribe button under this video this will help me out a lot so i can continue to improve and make better videos for you so, to do this next fade, all you have to do is place the timeline cursor, this red here, thing here, to where you want the fading to start. So I want it to start fading here. Click on the clip till you get this red border around it. Open the inspector and under composite here, you can see the opacity. So, on this one, you just want to click on this diamond here till it turns red. Then go to where you want it to be uh, fully black. So I want it to be fully faded out at the end of the clip. Then we're just gonna take the opacity and drag it all the way down to zero like this. And then you will automatically have a new keyframe or it will turn red by itself the second time. So if we now play through it, we can see that we're fading out in another way. And now the third way I want to show you. Then I'm gonna close the inspector, we're gonna open the effects library once again. And now go to open the toolbox, go to generators, and here you want the solid color. So just click hold and drag it into the timeline like this. And then just go to the edge like this and change the duration to where you want the uh, fading to start. And now just click on it, place the timeline cursor at the beginning like this, open the inspector and then at the opacity we want to click on the diamond again and this time we want to start at zero. So just set it to zero like this and then go to the end of the solid color here and then just take the opacity and pull it all the way up to 100. And if we now play through it, we're fading into black in yet another way. And this thing we clicked on here, which turns red, is called a keyframe. 
And with this one, you can animate movement. I do a lot of cool effects to pictures and objects and everything and make them move across the screen and such. So if you want to learn more about this, check out this video here and I'll see you over there.